Hello and welcome back commanders and commanderettes. Chesty Puller here with a video on the Zeus boss base. And um, this is the best way that I've found to do it. And uh, I'm sure that there's um, other units that you uh, can use. I'm using the Salvatore. I'm sure the Karen would work just as well. Uh, if you've got the Nox, the Nox would work also just as well um, to, to soak up the damage from the Zeus. There's no unit that I know of that can get to the Zeus without taking damage. So, uh, the Zeus is very powerful. It can destroy a lot of units with a single shot. So, um, you gotta be careful. Uh, I'm using my Ismodius. I think the Ismodius is one of the only units that is not exchangeable here. Um, and in the center there, I'm using Boomers and Crucigers. And um, you can use either one. You don't need to use one or the other. It doesn't matter. They just, uh, the Crucigers have a little bit more firepower, but they don't shoot as quickly. So, um, it, it really doesn't matter. You're just going to need something with a lot of firepower. Um, but the Ismodius, that's uh, like, a, you really need that. Now, if you watch the way that I take these things out, I save a, a bunch of missiles. You, you could use missiles, or if you're paying attention, you can see that I just took out a CC by shooting that um, that barracks and then here I just took out another CC by shooting that tower so I'm trying to take out as many CC's as I can without actually using a shock missile because the CC's all have um, turrets on them and they are all going to do damage to your Osmodius So I took out those two. Now I'm going to take out these. While well, the shock is still on there, I'm trying to, you know, take out as many as I can. <clears throat> I got one more barracks there I have to destroy. And um, so you want to draw out all of these hoplites. Um, Just about any movement will cause those hoplites to come out, and so um, you got to be careful because they'll they're fast, right? They're going to come after your Asmodeus. I like to take out these two turrets right here. Sorry, I was out of missiles. I don't know if you know this. You can leave the battle and come and build more missiles. Just make sure that the missiles are completely built before you head back to the battle. Because um, if they're not built when you leave, then they're not going to be there when you get there. Kind of a cool thing to know. So sometimes I get away with one shock missile, sometimes it's uh, two, uh, and, and occasionally if you hit everything just right, you can destroy everything without using the missiles, but those uh, CCs, if you don't kill, uh, or if you don't shock the, the, uh, the turret on top of the CC, it will cause you at least four or five minutes damage on your Asmodeus, and we're trying to limit the damage as much as possible. get there's uh, you know those turrets there you can't see them until you until you sc scroll over you want to be careful not to call the Zeus out you can see the Zeus there hiding uh, 
that's uh, one of the main things here. I want to kill everything without drawing the Zeus out. And uh, if you shoot anything near the Zeus, he's going to he's going to come out. And so I save the turret right next to him until the very end. But I can pretty much take out the rest of the base with the Asmodeus. So, you know, once you kill the barracks on the left side there and take out those hoplites, there's really not much defending the base. And sometimes when I shoot that turret like I did, he'll come right out. So that's why I retreated. Uh, and then what you want to do is because he's got a lot of splash damage, okay? So you don't want whatever is going to be your tank, you know, you don't want that to be anywhere near your other stuff I'm not sure I, I'm losing firepower by moving it might it might work better if he's not moving but I always just move him I feel like maybe he's avoiding some of the shots uh, you see how long it takes to kill this Zeus so I'll end up with about eight minutes worth of damage on my uh, my tank there and as I said I think Karen would work just as well Karen has almost the same amount of uh, hit points as the Salvatore but I was just using the Salvatore my Salvatore is not max level in this video I think he was uh, uh, probably uh, an 11 got all the workshop on that is available for him and um, I was just checking here to see if it's better for him to move or not move and it doesn't say uh, one way or the other I know you know sometimes the workshops uh, you know I'm, I'm, it's a new unit I'm kind of getting familiar with it I was just making sure you know is it would he take less damage moving or or not and um, um, I don't think it matters uh, one way or the other and I don't know by moving if he's avoiding anything because if he was not moving he would shoot more uh, he does shoot and move but uh, he's got several ways of shooting and uh, his main shot I don't think he can do it unless he's standing still he's got to stop so I might be hurting myself by moving we'll do it again real quick just to show you that it is repeatable and it's a pattern it's a pattern um, remember see I lock those guys down you don't want those boomers running off those boomers will ruin your day if they start running off so don't forget to put them on defensive that's the D button or the D key. Take out the two overwatches here. You don't really have to worry uh, about those um, hoplites that are coming out because uh, they're really not going to mess with your Asmodeus. What they're worried about is they're going after your depth. And uh, you got some boomers there, and you got the crucigers there. You're going to be uh, killing those hoplites quickly. <clears throat> See, I took out that. It, it's a little bit different this particular time. I did take out, and 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 in order for me to get to that. Um, that barracks I have to take out a little bit of the wall you didn't see it but behind that barracks there's a CC and that CC has a turret on it so I'm just uh, that's one of my <clears throat> um, priorities there is you got to take out that other CC otherwise it's going to cost you a missile 
I do like to take out this uh, rail gun prior to um, um, coming in there to take out the um, the other two CCs. that time I took out um, quite a few CC's there but the pattern is essentially the same so those CC's are still got shock on them. I could probably take them out, but um, I think that shock's about ready to end. I'll have to use another missile. While I'm uh, waiting for the missile, I like to take out these two uh, turrets here. Work your way around, take out uh, the rest of these um, floating turrets. Just a little bit over there to the right, there's one more floater that can get you. Don't forget that it's over there. get lucky and uh, you'll take out two turrets at, at one time. Be prepared to uh, retreat if the Zeus comes out after you. You don't want to mess with the Zeus. He'll probably destroy your, your Asmodeus in just a few seconds. The Asmodeus is great, you know, it just has such a slow fire rate. Um, but other than that, there's the Asmodeus is super powerful. It's got the splash damage. Um, it, um, it's it got more range than anything else that I have. Uh, and range is king in this game. It really is. Now, if the Zeus comes out, it's okay. Huh. In this case, he didn't come out again. Usually, he'll start running around. That's okay. Just wait until he's on his way back. Uh, I got lucky in both of these videos, and he didn't start coming out. He'll usually start running around the base in a circle. And what you want to do, he goes after the moving uh, target. Okay? So, at the very beginning, yes, you do want, for sure, your... Um, whatever your tank is in this case I'm using uh, uh, this guy is my tank Salvatore but whatever your tank is at the very beginning you want him to be moving once he's locked in on that target he'll stay on that target until it dies and then after it dies he'll move to another target so uh, once you get him locked in uh, you're good to go um, and I think uh, for my next video, I might try Karen. Um, and uh, we'll see how that goes. But this is the best way I know of for now.